uh, Tim Harrison, MD at Ionic Rare Arts. Uh, we're here in Belfast looking at all the urban regeneration going on behind us. Tim, pretty exciting time, sir. Very much so. I mean, there's a motivated uh, activity here in establishing, you know, green energy investment in alternative opportunities uh, for, for Northern Ireland. And, and I think we're positioning ourselves perfectly with what we offer, um, commercialising technology from here in Belfast. Well, the money's definitely flowing. We can sort of see it all around us, cranes everywhere. What, why do they want you here? What do you, what's, what do, you do for them? Look, we are a net zero enabling business, right? We are part of the, the renewable energy thematic. Um, and so we've had tremendous success and, and engagement with local stakeholders here uh, and government through both local Northern Ireland stakeholders, but also UK government. Mm-hmm. You know, we commercialise the tech from Belfast. Uh, here in Belfast, recycling magnets. We're accretive to initiatives that are underway here with establishing this um, offshore energy, wind energy park, the mm-hmm. hub. Um, and, and I think that that then creates other opportunities for further value addition that can can occur right here in Belfast. So l- lots, lots of uh, investment into the areas as we've discussed. And there's also this kind of ecosystem, this kind of green ecosystem. You're fitting into it as part of this sort of recycling um, you know, s- solution that you've got. Belfast City want you here. How are they going to help you? Yeah, look, I mean, there's a number of initiatives that are being set up here in Northern Ireland through support from the UK government, but also initiatives from, from the Northern Ireland government. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they are looking to establish a green energy park. That there are other businesses here focusing on net zero technologies and, and commercialisation. There's companies here looking at production of hydrogen, companies here looking at production of electric uh, boats. Right. Um, and so we in what we do is accretive to an industry that they've already identified, they've invested in, they have an infrastructure here with the harbour, deep water harbour, mm. um, and we can add value to the systems and process and wheels that are already in motion in, in establishing that, that wind energy hub here. Right, so we're kind of a green ecosystem being built up around this that's kind of right. critical minerals theme yes. that's going on. That's right, and, and what they're really looking for is to create high paying, good jobs right. for um, educated, a very, very educated uh, talent pool here in Northern Ireland, which typically is having to look at, at you know, moving into other areas to, to, to follow employment opportunities. And so they want to attract um, companies that have value addition, advanced manufacturing, and start to change the, the, the ecosystem, change the landscape with regard to, you know, companies that are investing in Northern Ireland. Well, it's obviously, it's been uh, made, the idea came out of Queen's University of Belfast. So, so I think uh, made in Northern Ireland is something that they'd also quite like you to deliver on. Yeah, you know, they're very excited to, uh, to, to, to see the first plant being built here. And, and likewise, I think it represents a great opportunity for us. We see supportive government, uh, supportive local stakeholders. And because I think we are, we are in, here in Northern Ireland, you know, the, that levelling up agenda, that looking, uh, you know, identifying opportunities for regional growth yeah. positions us in a very unique space where we do tick a number of boxes that satisfy targets and objectives as UK government. You know, we are critical raw materials, you know, with sovereign capability, it's military and defence, it's enabling net zero. Um, and so, yeah, we're in a unique pi- uh, position to take advantage of that. And they want investment here in Northern Ireland. So uh, it, it makes a lot of sense for our company. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate your time today. I'm going to try and check out one of those uh, new restaurants as well. Yeah, no, it's got a pretty good foodie scene as well. And certainly when the cruise ships come through here, it's a pretty vibrant sort of place. Yeah, they're coming here for Game of Thrones, it seems. Uh, that Titanic Museum Titanic over Museum. there. Yeah, they get about 800,000 visitors a year. So, I mean, um, it, it, it has become a destination. And, and as my taxi driver told me on the way here, that they also do um, uh, sheep herding with dogs. There's something here for everyone, Tim. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, Matt. <laughs> <laughs>